Hello and welcome to Summon RPG. I am Sovereign for today. We're in Lord of the Rings Return to Moria and something we do on this channel, our complete series. We're going to be starting our complete series on Return to Moria where we go through and we do everything in the game until we finish it. And it's just uh, episode by episode. So if you do enjoy that kind of thing, make sure to like and subscribe for all your future Return to Moria content and survival games in general. Now, I was told in the last video, because I did do a like day one first look at the first two hours of the sandbox. I got told, you know what, you should jump through and do the campaign. So we're going to go and do the campaign so we can have a kind of storyline behind it and work our way through the game as we're going. I hope it's something you enjoy. Let's just crack on into it. Yes. Dwarves from every clan have answered your call, despite the King Under the Mountain's objection. Lord Gimli, Erebor will not support entering the Black Pit. If the King wants to stop us, he can come himself. Every attempt you've made has failed. This is a sign. No signs or kings are going to stop us. This is the time to reclaim Khazad Doom. Today, we get into that mountain. Any luck? No, won't budge. Did you try speaking friend? Now, why didn't I think of that before? You did your best. On to plan B. Ah, finally. Plan B? Is that blasting fire? I'd stand back if I were you. This is madness! Gimli, you can't! We have to wait for Durin! Durin's not here. We have to do this ourselves. Maybe this will wake him up. Limin Barak. Limin Tagaz. Kazad Dashtin. Oh, no! Lord Gimli! This is another sign! Oh, hammer tongues. It's the fourth age. Nothing is going to stop us. You heard Lord Gimli. Let's go. Pack it in. It's nice and tight. Come on, help him out. You know, I thought it might have been a little bit of a different start with the campaign. But it seems like we get exactly the same coming through as we did uh, from the sandbox. Because sa I thought the sandbox video would have been a good start. Was no Maybe not actually getting into blast. it. No normal dwarf blast? No, it was, a, it was a big old hole in the wall. Now, we do have the general gist of the game. We do kind of know what we're doing from the first two hours we played previously. I need a torch. Too dark for Gather supplies, eyes. press G and read entry... Uh, gather supplies so search for resources to find a way back to the company's camp and learn in the game now we do know how to do those things so we are just going to go around and grab what we need to and get to a point where we start running through the storyline i do like i do really love the air stake of this game and i really love the fact that there's a, like it's just a dwarf game just dwarves in general i love building underground if you ever see me play uh rimworld before you'll know exactly what i'm talking about i always build into the ground as much as humanly possible. It looks like I can dig that out at some point. So let's head off and start following the quest line. Doesn't seem like we have anything on the map over here at the moment. I wish we could find out. Where's the... Uh... How do I get into the menu? There we go. Right, let's go to the quest. Can you not uh, have the quest pop up on your screen? Where are they? They're the quest there. Uh... Durin's folk. Gimli, look. This is just the, uh, that's not the, that's the appendices. Goals. Mark all the scene. It doesn't seem like we can get it just stuck up on our screen. So search for find a way back to the company's camp. So I guess it's just pretty much the same. As the stand, the standard, like the start of the sandbox experience. Except you don't have all of the quests open up around you. Space to jump. T to learn more. Jump. There must and be a way back to camp. Hmm. Could try the doors of Dorian we did just get our simple inside. pickaxe because you kind of get going. your uh uh raw crafting recipes from picking up different items and picking up different things that you use we're gonna need all the metal fragments we're gonna use uh so you basically when you pick it up it unlocks crafting recipes for you or you can get them in chests or you get them in the scrolls or the books that you can get let's add some fuel to these so we know where we've been 
always a better addition. We do need to craft a pickaxe and dig through now. I should really craft two of them. Can I? I'm pressing four. Yeah, there we go. Let's dig through. This is voxel based, but it's only voxel based up until a certain point. So it's not voxel based all the way through. Only certain areas that you can mine through with certain resources and stuff. So you can't actually like just dig anywhere. If I say, for instance, wanted to dig here, it's just going to hit the wall. Is it going to? Is it going to? Is that giving me stone? No, it's not giving me stone. I thought it was giving me stone. There's dirt. We can't pick up any more dirt, I guess. Right, there's a little thing over here. We are not alone. We are not alone. What do you mean we're not alone? What's that over there? Eat mushrooms. Let's grab up all the mushrooms we can because we do need them for food and we'll make some mushroom stews when we get to that point. When we build our first base area. Now I know exactly what's going to happen. Like, uh, well, but the, not what's going to happen, but the basis of the game. Like, I don't know the storyline at all. Let's honor this fallen dwarf and get ourselves a nice little item. Take the mushrooms. We can take the hero's token to make the memorial flame. We need five of those, so we need to find them all over the place. Whoa, a raven of Erebor. Ah. This wasn't here in the sandbox. Eric, the raven of Erebor. Ah. Are you from our camp? Thank the winds! I am Arak, son of Arak. Yours is the only friendly face here. What I do love uh, the, rest of camp? the voice acting in this game. I cannot tell. A curse, ill curse. It blocks me. Could you search for a way out? And for any other survivors. I will search. You go east. See what you can find. I will fly to you when I come. We gotta seek the gate. Um I it says east. I'm guessing that's north with the bigger side there. And um, we can't go east, so I'm guessing we just have to go this way. Cut through. I still have a cough, so every now and then you're going to hear me probably cough my guts out. I'll try and keep it away from the mic as much as possible. We need to build the quick platforms, and we do that by pressing V. And we can just do like some stepping stones. So we go one over here, and then we put another one up here, and we can climb up. I'm going to be looking for some or in the walls as we're going through. Uh, do we jump down here? We don't take much damage, I don't think, from falling. Uh, okay, I just randomly climbed up onto the wall there. Oh, yeah, I thought that was going to take damage. That actually made my balls go into my mouth. Falling in games tends to do that to me sometimes. Let's try and get through this way. I'm pretty sure this is what he means by going east that way. Dirt and dirt. We're getting a decent amount of stone, actually make the hole a little bigger we can't go out that way what's that there aftermath 65 yards away we have done that one best, best space to jump i've already done that man oh that's just the tips well the doors of durin should be west of here okay Now, supposedly, when we're going for the campaign, it's kind of set, but there is some randomization to it. So it's going to be a little bit different for each time you play through the campaign. Here's the doors of Durin. The doors of Durin? What is wrong with it? <laughs> I've never seen rooms with such shadow. No wonder we couldn't get it open from the other side. Dora's doing a cursed explore until Arik returns. Let's read that one. Uh, Dora's doing a curse. That's the mystery. Evil shadow exudes from it, blocking any approaching. Uh, search for another way out of Moria. The doors of cannot be opened, not while this strange shadow curse runes lie upon them. I'll have to find another way out. Best to start looking for clues. So we have the doors of Durin at least on the map now. I do need to make a... Uh... Is that going to... 
I forgot that we can literally break down everything, including walls and stuff. We've got the signs of the uh, fellowship was here. We found that in the other one as well. There's a lot of really cool lore pieces. And the good thing about the Lord of the Rings in general is the amount of lore that these things have. They have so much lore. So much lore. I'm not going to pick up the arrows and stuff because I'm not going to use a bow. I'm going to be melee. But different. But difference. If you see me play other games like... Uh... What's this? Oh, no. It's just a body. If you see me play other games like Soul Mask, I generally... We need to make a, a weapon, man. Let's make an improvised axe, and we'll make an open shield. And we'll go in here, we'll put this here. Put the open shield there, and put this over here. So we have everything we need. We don't, we don't want to have all of this stuff on our bar. We'll have the food there. And the hero's token. I just heard some orcish talking. So we might run into something pretty soon here. We do need to eat a little bit more. We should venture in a little bit deeper until he finds us. Um, why did I hear orcs, but nothing actually happened? What do we have up here? Let's get our little torch out so we can see everything. You ate what? There's like a little building over there. I'm going to go and see if they're building because it usually houses some chests and stuff. So we can get some more items to get a little bit further ahead earlier. There are things like uh, you can find puzzles and stuff that you have to collect certain items and bits and bobs that are floating around. It's really, really good. It's kind of like a Tomb Raider remix with it as well. Let's go inside this building. What's that on the floor? There's something shiny down there. There's a carving. We'll pick that up because that will be good. And these boxes kind of have a little bit something extra in them. Like you got the power uh, back and uh, you get a couple of little items. But there's nothing. Can we? What's that door there? Let's break through this. If there's or is it just stairs? Let's see. We'll pull out this because I think it does more damage. Yet. Yeah. Are you gonna do? Come on, break through. I just want to see if there's something behind here. I got a thing about finding secrets. I have to kind of go into everything and just like break it all down. But there's nothing in there. We did some stone there though. We'll grab that stone. We're going to need that when we start to build our own house. I did. Did I break the stairs that went upstairs? I did, didn't I? I did because I'm special. Let's put a little stand in here and we'll see if we can't get up. I love that feature. That feature is absolutely amazing for traversing everywhere. And I wish that was more of a thing in other games. Let's break this up. What do we get in here? Warding. I'm not going to pick those up because we're not going to use those for a little while. We're just going to pick up some of the resources and stuff. Uh, cloth scraps we will need. What's this? This has got a lock on it. Quartz. Metal fragments. Let's grab the quartz. And gold ingot. We're going to need some of that at some point. Is there a, a way to get up? Maybe there's a ladder. Some of these buildings have ladders and stuff that go up to other floors. But I don't know if there's anything on the roof. We can try and get up there. Let's pull up this up. Jump up and grab up. And we press the... Uh, we'll do it there. If you scroll the mouse up and down, you can pull things closer to you and further away. Doesn't look like there's anything up here, though. Oh! I was about to fall off then. I literally had another balls in mouth moment. We got orcs! We have got orcs where? Ah, oh, he's just down there looking at me. Let's just go down and say hello to our orcish friends. Can't go down that way because I broke the bloody stairs. I wish you could pull these off after you use them though. I wish you could. Because if you break them, you do kind of lose a little bit. We have our little gobbo friend over there. Is there anything down here? We just have some mushrooms. Oh, there's a little tunnel. I think this goblin, even if we go over to him, I think he's just going to burrow into the ground and come back with some friends. <laughs> yep, he's going to burrow into Bring the ground. The big guys. Help. Yeah, he just basically, those guys with torches, they, they kind of stand there. Let's try and jump over here. They kind of stand there and they'll call some friends and they'll cut, like, spawn in around you. Oh, look, there's the bird. 
We do have some rats over here. Let's kill these rats. Because we're gonna need some meat and stuff for later on. And out they run away. Company. We can shelter here. We can shelter here, nice. So it's gonna teach us where to build. What news? There's no way west. No way out. I did not think we would see shadow cursed runes in Moria. Our path then must go east. Long journey. You must prepare. Up here, at that old dwarven camp. You're right. It's time to find shelter before making our way further. I will scout ahead. Stay alive. With luck, we will exit the Dimril Gate. For now, we must face the long dark of Moria. Which is fine. Let's kill these rats, get this meat. Oh, we get stuck on the stairs. Alright, so we're going to be building in here. It looks like an old dwarven camp. Oh, there's a book. Ori's records. I found a piece of parchment in Elvish hand. Balin has sent five of us to establish outposts in the far corners of Moria. Here we are beginning our search. Lovely job. Oh, there's a chest. A dwarven chest. Let's get you open. See what you're keeping secret. We need to make an Ori's key for the forge recipe. So let's see if we can rebuild this. We can rebuild this with the stone in the stone hearth. So some of these times you'll find some of these crafting stations just lying around broken up and st stuff like that. Uh, sorry, the uh, missus was just showing me something that I couldn't move away from. Uh, so we can build up the furnace and we can build the stone hearth. Now the stone hearth's built and this should be a dining table. Uh, we can break this. We've got a coal pallet. We've got some coal on there so we can do this. We need a black diamond for the ruined map stone. I'm, I don't know what the ruined map stone is yet because I haven't tried that. Let me know down below if you know what that is. We're going to rebuild this furnace because I do want to build the... Um, oh, what's it called? The uh, ingots. We're going to make iron ingots. And for some reason, it said recipe list. And it said we can crop... Oh, that's in a forge. We do need to get iron ingots. So we do need to get iron ingots for some. We do need to make the iron ingots to make the forge. I didn't see any coal around here. Let's break up some of these things, see if we get anything tasty. The thing I don't like is when you're breaking these boxes, you can do damage to the walls and you have to repair them. Uh, let's... Actually, I'm going to pull out this because I don't want to damage the, uh, the axe we're using. So we do need to place a bedroll. I want to clean up though. I can't have a dirty house. I don't care. I know it's not... Like, you don't need to do it, but I need to do it. Let's break this last bit of stone here. I try not to hit the floor. So we do get some nice bits of stone there. And we will try to make a forge in here. We need to fix this wall. Or at least build parts of it. So if we go into crafting... Uh, not in crafting, sorry. We need to go into the build menu. And I forgot what the build menu is. There it is there. So we can actually... Let's break this bit down. Don't hit the wall. I just want to make sure that before we put a bed down to go to sleep, we're actually going to build this into a nice big... Uh, what what actually broke there apart from that? Is that wall going to come off? Get stone, get stone. Are you going to... Okay, cool. We got that. That's good. What's that noise? Holy shit! That actually scared the crap out of me. Like, literally, actually scared the crap out of me. Let's block. A couple of hits. They're going to do it again. A couple of hits. I do like the combat in this game. It's really simple and easy for an old timer like me who can't do shit or block or dodge. But I do pretty good for dodging and like, blocking in this game. There's no dodging. That's really good. Right, but, oh, he managed to hit me because I wasn't paying attention because I saw something over there. Oh, there's an iron vein. That's really good. Right, let's uh, clear up just the last pieces of this. I want to have a closed-in house. Because I am a builder at heart in all of these survival games. We need to pick up all this stone because we do need to... I want to... Uh, I don't want to break you, Torch. That's the only thing... Because when you're breaking this stuff down... It kind of just... Uh, you can kind of get... You see the little square? It's there. So it shows you where you're going to be hitting. So it does make it a little bit easier. But it doesn't completely show you. So what we're going to do, we're going to building mode. 
And we're going to get a simple stone door and see if we can slot that in here. We'll put that one there. And then we're going to go into building menu again and we're going to put some stone walls. You know what? I might put there first, actually. Because we need to, we need to look out. We need to look out. We're going to put a stone window there. And a stone window there. And then we have a fully closed off in area that's kind of safe, at least for the moment. And when we get an iron hammer, because we're going to go actually go into here and grab this vein real quick. Let's go over there and mine that out so we can make some iron ingots. Let's just jump down here. Because we need to make an iron hammer. But you see these veins? You kind of have to put to get to reach up to them. Because it's only the colored areas that will have the iron ore, etc. Do we have enough space in my bag? I do. Otherwise, it won't pick the stuff up. Let's just break in this iron ore. We can start singing as well. And when you do the mining songs, you actually gather stuff a lot quicker. So you get little buffs from the singing, etc. I was just letting you guys listen to the music a little bit because I really enjoy that My fact. Swings through. And now we have the ore frenzy buff. So we do gain more ore from hitting this stuff now. Or I don't know if it's the speed, less stamina or more. Let's quickly just break this down. I should have made some food. Right, we almost got there's some iron ore there. What's this? That's just stone. Right, so I want to grab everything. So we will put a little one there. And we will try and grab all of this. And we'll get all of this completely cleared out. Let's get all the ore. It's got some floating rocks there, which is a little bit weird. But we can try and add and just keep going across. So you can just build like structures that go across so you can mine everything you need to mine. I love that. I absolutely love that in this game. Like, I really do. Let's break this. Get iron ore. Inventory full. No, no, no. That's not allowed. It's not allowed to have the inventory full. Hide scraps. What don't we need right now? We need the carving. We, oh, we kind of need... You know what? I'm going to quickly run back to our little house over here. Little house on the prairie. And we'll build our bed. So we can have it over here. Is there a back door over here? What's this? We will grab these mushrooms though, because we're gonna cook a, we're gonna cook some meals. That's really cool, man. I love the fact that you can just basically build your base on top of old dwarven ruins and you get loads of pieces unlocked to make it look better and stuff. And you can even fix buildings that are already there. It's actually really, really cool. I really love it. We will just cook one portion because it's just us here. Let's stick our iron add coal. Add to Q. And we'll do all of the iron we can get queued in here. Queue full. And then we'll go pick up some more iron ore. Do we have to close the door after us? We do indeed. I miss automatic doors. It is night time, so we could have we have some trouble coming up soon. Because you get darkness debuffs. Let's grab up the iron ore. Is there more iron ore we didn't grab? Nope. Let's just finish grabbing all this so we have it all for sure. There is a lip. Oh! Oh, that's just stone. And let's build another little rampart across. So we can grab this last bit of iron ore. We do need some rocks as well, because if we're going to start building some more stuff, it's always good to grab it all. And we can start doing some organization within the base as well. Uh, let us. Can we just hit upwards? Yeah, we can. Grab all of this rock. Oh, God. Let's just empty it all out. There is loads of space in here. <laughs> oh, we're hitting our own thing. We don't want to hit that. Was that... Is that an iron ore block? No, it's just rock. Sad times. At least we have, like, got some stuff alight over here. We will make an iron hammer, because that statue is something that we can unlock later on. I do wish there was some more torch stuff over here we can fix those lights at some point i do know that for sure 
We are going to go eat some stew because we do need to eat. And we'll put our bed down real quick. I'm going to put our bed over here in the corner. Let's go in and go to essentials and we go to bedroll. And we'll put that. We can press R and T to put it away. We're just going to have a little bed over here. Why not? Let's claim the bed. So now we actually get to the next part. Uh, we do have collect iron ingots four. Let's eat our meal real quick because they do go off if you don't eat them. So that's why we only made one so we don't waste the resources. We do need to make a chest. And I do actually want to make some more lights in here because it's a little bit dark. Build on a wall. I'm on a wall, man. There we go. All right, let's put you there. Put you there. We'll put another one. We'll put two up behind the statue to light it up a little bit. And we have to go around. We need to go around the other way. There we go. We'll put one there. And one on the other side. Just to light up the room a little bit. I can't build just like normally anymore. Let's put one over here. Oh, wrong one. Uh, da, 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 wooden stone. What did I see? Why, uh, why have I lost it now? Essential crafting. Wall torch. Let's craft a couple more. Just a couple more. Just so we can light up the entire area. We'll put a couple next to the door over here so it does do that last piece right next to the door. There we go. Lovely. So now we're all lit up and we can see our entire place. I, could, I do kind of wish you could pick that stuff up, to be honest. Maybe you can later on. Stone hearth. It says build a storage chest. So we do need to build a storage chest. We will have our storage chest. We're going to put our pallets over here. So actually, I'm going to do some pallets real quick. So we're going to do stone pallet and a wood pallet. So I'm going to put a... We're going to put one hit. Well, you know what? There's loads of space over here. So we put them over here because they if they're built within the area... You can actually collect stuff from directly from the pallets and the boxes. So you don't have to have it in your inventory. So we will have the wood scraps one there. I'll have a stone one. And then, oh god, I think we're going to be under attack in a second. We'll deposit all the stone we have and we'll deposit all the wood scraps. Because we can use them directly from my inventory. Are these guys outside? They're going to attack in a moment. Where are you, boys? You appearing from behind? I heard get him. So I was a little bit confused. I like how when you're standing still, the fire lights up a lot, but it kind of blurts out as you're running. That's a really good addition, to be honest. Oh, he's down there. That's okay. He's not going to bother us because he's one of the scouts. They may attack eventually, but we don't need the light in here. Uh, we need to build the storage chest is what we need to build. So let's build a wooden chest and we'll stick them over here. Let's turn this around. And we'll have a couple of little chests over here to put our items in. Just there. We don't need to have much more than that. And we can put these items in that we don't need on us right now. We can't get a pallet for metal scraps right now. I'm not really sure why that's the case. But everything that we put in here we can use from these storage boxes which is like quality of life 101 every game should have this it took soul mask a little while to do that to be honest and we do have a place for gold ingots but we need five gold ingots to make the thing like we have here <laughs> right we have nine iron ingots ready let's collect those and let's craft some more we've only got enough to do two of those but we will rebuild the forge Let's rebuild that up real quick. And now we have the forge ready. We will craft. So it says forge an iron sword, but I want an iron hammer. Oh, we're going to have to, we're going to have to craft this. It's three iron niggas. We'll have three left. Do we have enough? Yes, we will have enough. Let's add coal. Craft one of those. Why not? That's done. We need to get a little bit more wood scraps so we can make the iron hammer. I'm going to make the Aurize key real quick. So we can open that chest in the back over there. Uh, where is it telling us to go now? Open Aurize chest. Take the Jorin's Highway east. Okay, let's open the Aurize chest. Unlock. And what do you have for us in there, sir? We have three iron ingots. Some gold coins. Lembas bread. And some coal. 
So we'll take all of that. And that's going to go... Looks like it went into our bar directly. But we are going to take this sword out. So I'm going to move this over here so we can get rid of the makeshift axe. I should have really made a... Um, put on a wood pallet. Deposit all stone. We've already done all that. Uh, what's it asking us to do over here? Tips. Shields. Go to... Like me. Uh, learning a game. We already did that one. So why is it asking us to go into here? What's it asking us to craft? We need to get a shield crafted. We need some more wood scraps. But I do want an iron hammer more importantly. Let's go get some wood scraps. See if we can't do that. We've got two other things we can make in here now. Hole. We definitely need uh, some more wood. So let's go on a little, little bit of a hunt. What's that over there? Search area. Okay. Let's head over there and start searching the area a little bit. We'll pull out our sword. And our torch. Mm. There's three We've guys over here. They're all going to run away. There's a lot of orcs. The swords are ideal against multiple enemies. I only used an axe last time we were doing this. We do need the stone hammer. <laughs> but what we do need to do, actually, because we just broke uh, our torch. Luckily, we do have enough wood scraps on us. But we do need to find a load more. So I'll probably end up breaking down some of these things. Because these do give wood scraps when you break them down. Wood scraps and stone give us two wood scraps. We do need to fix this. Right, let's... Okay. So this is no different, this part, than it was in the sandbox. Because we do have... We do have one of these over in another area. Let's pull this out. Because we can use our sword and our torch. I can hear something skittering around. So to do this, this is kind of one of those things I was telling you about where you need to find the Ori's line idols. Now there are certain areas these are in. I don't know if they're the same every time you play. Let's kill these guys real quick. Let's get some more meat. Hello, rat boy. We do need to rest soon. We do need to sleep. Is it data? Is it dark? It is dark. So we're in the dark. We'll head back to our little base there. I was hoping to get a couple more bits of wood, to be honest. There is some here. We can break this down. There's a stove. Okay, let's get this out and use our thing properly. Otherwise, we're going to break everything in the whole base. Base? The whole tavern. But you can pretty much break stuff down. And you can make it look... I just picked up some beer. Nice. Evening ale. Let's just get our buff up and drink all that ale up. We're tired and bone cold, so we do need to do that. See if we can't break all this down. We grab what we need. We do have a full there. We're determined now. Grab some cloth scraps. We'll grab up some things up here that we need. Mint seed. Nice, we'll pick that up. I hadn't seen any seeds yet. Pick up all this good times. Because I think this is one of the buildings we built in when I was playing the sandbox. Like uh, the other day when I was playing the sandbox, I think I built in this, or it looked very similar to this. <coughs> Excuse me, I keep actually literally coughing all over the place. I need to fix that. I need to go and see what's wrong with that. Oh, that's, that's really nice. We'll take that. Thank you very much. And we'll break you down so we can take the rest of your stuff. There's nothing else up here, but this sort of looked like a really nice little area. Let's uh, build this here real quick. And see if there's nothing up here. It is telling us to go 200 yards that way, but I do love a little bit of exploration. I can't help myself. Well, there's a goblin down there that's just going to dig into the floor. Because when they hold the torch, they kind of just dig into the floor. And you can break all these down, but you can... Oh, Jesus. You can also, like, repair all of these walls. Pick up more. We need all the wood scraps we can get right now. What's this? Stone. So someone broke a wall. Can I can I fight any of you at some point or what? We will like search that area and gate to Durin's highways over that way. But I would like to finish off getting our hammer sorted so we can build those statues and I'll show you what that does here in a second. Oh, there's a there's a good few boxes in here. 
metal fragments, wood scraps, warding. We'll pull out our pick so we don't break too much of the stuff. Let's pick all this up. Crystal flares. Can we break that? Metal fragments, crystal flares. I think they're used for like magic torches at some point. What do we have up here? Breaking this stuff is going to give us anything nice. Let's just break all this stuff down and we're going to take it home with us anyway. Break the chair. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to do it just in case. There we go. Just in case we do need them for something. At some point. At least we opened that up. Let's have a quick look up here. Nope, doesn't break that. Some of these buildings you can't break down, but there's a lot of them when they look slightly different. You see how they haven't got the bricks? But in these ones, they do have bricks. That's kind of the difference. Why is that building so tall? It looks like there might be something up there. Should we try? Let's try and do it quickly. We can try. Let's try and get up there. Can we Can we get up? Can you let us up? We can go this way. And jump up to the next one. And then we go across. Jump to this one. Get up. And then we can try and get up here. And we can see if there's anything sneaky up here. Or it might just be a little bit of a closed off area. No, there's nothing up here. But it would have been nice if there was. Worth a little try. There are a lot of things. You Dawn is at hand. It's finally daytime and we're about to go to sleep. Let's go build that iron hammer and get all this place fixed up. Did we get anything off of this guy? We did pick up all the stuff of this, right? Yeah, we did. Let's rest real quick because we're going to actually have to eat straight after this, but I didn't make the food first. So now we're starving. Let's do the roast meat. Let's cook a roast meat. It's ready in 40 seconds. We can pick up these from the furnace. And we can craft the high iron hill shield and an iron hammer. And we can have those both sorted. Lovely jubbly. 20 seconds until that's cooked. Let's empty our stuff into these chests. Um, we want to keep the iron hammer. <laughs> um, everything else can go kind of go in there. Let's go to our pallets. And deposit all the coal. We can deposit all of our stone. If we have any. Yeah, we do. All the wood scraps can get deposited. Uh, do we have... We need to eat. We have eaten our meat. And it only gave us half. So we'll grab a... We'll grab a mushroom stew as well. And we'll put all of this other stuff inside. So cloth scraps can go in here. Is there a quick way, left, quick left move? Okay, sweet. We'll put that over there. Put all that in there as well. Gold coins can stay in there. We'll keep the Lambus bridge just in case we do need to eat. And we will swap out the shield. Uh, we will pick this up and drop it outside somewhere because it's kind of aggravating that that's going to be there. So it's the afternoon. It's not the morning. We should have slept through the night, to be honest. Because it's going to be dark again soon. But we're going to go explore where it still has to explore over there. We're going to go search that area. Once we get a little bit of food. I do love the smoke that goes from there to tell you which table it's going to go to. Like you're waiting for your food like a hungry little hobbit. Okay, now we're full up. We're rested. We're renewed. And we're going to go head off and search that area with our nice new shield. Looking like we're actually getting somewhere. We do... We need to build the stone. Uh, okay, let's grab some stone real quick. We can grab it from one of the buildings over here. We can just break down a few things. And it will give us more than enough stone. And I'll show you what it does. I completely forgot we were going to do that. We picked up nine. Okay, let's do more damage, more damage, more damage. We want all the damage. Before this breaks, we will have to craft another one, I think. Can we pick up the stone? We can. That's enough stone. But that's a good way of getting stone early game. It's just, just go through and break down the buildings that are built here. We will rebuild this with the hammer. And it will unlock a part. So a recipe fragment found for creating one of these. So we will go down here. I didn't pick up the, the statue. 
we were looking at water you nice little block okay we'll grab that meat there is another what's that that's coal up there i believe we'll have a little search here first because i know we're going to have we will pick up some of this stuff because we are going to need the wood scraps to make another one of those axes and we will need all oh, the white bean seeds lovely metal because we will need to make another one of these in a moment and we can never have enough resources buff scraps let's break this what you got for me some metal scraps let's see what we got upstairs come on get out of way get out of way I can't see... I haven't seen any of the thingies we got before, to be honest. But we do need to go mine out that coal. Like, as normally I would have seen at least one of the idols by now, but we've only picked up one from before we got to this area, so I'm guessing it is completely randomized, because there was one sitting on a, uh, a sign out here. We did go into this one, right? We went upstairs, yes we did. Did we go into this one over here? There's some bits we can break up there to go through, but I'm gonna have a quick look in these buildings first. Let's go up the Bring top the here. Help. Help skin the dwarves. What big guy? We don't want any big guys, man. Let's uh, switch this around and we'll put that there so we can mine out this lovely bit of coal ore. Gonna need it for every time we make iron. Start singing. Yeah, I'm mining some going while we're doing it. This is going to break any second. Uh, we can't do it until we get the repair station. We can't actually get that sorted. Simple pickaxe craft. And what we will do, throw this improvised axe on the floor, throw this one down, pick this one up. Because we can't repair them until we make a repair station. We got our all frenzy buff. I really do love that. I don't like that you can't you kind of just leave the stuff there on the floor and it just stays there. Hopefully it does disappear eventually. We will mix some more of this. Get some of this rock. We can never have too much stone when we start doing our big buildings. Let's grab all this up here. There might be something sneaky hiding behind these rocks at some point. Right, we got all of that sorted. <laughs> Where was the area that it told us to search? I can't... Oh, this over that way. There was nothing up that way. Did we go into the building here? We did not. <laughs> Let's go inside. We did check this place. I haven't seen a single statue, to be honest. A single one. I normally would have seen it by now. There are some wolves over there, some wargs, but we're going to search the area. Is it? No, 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 it's that way. Oh, I have to keep an eye on what color these things are. Sprint over. Pull our sword out just in case. It is still, it's early evening. We will need to head back and sleep because I want to do it at night time. So we can see these areas really well. Uh, search area for axe fragment. Let's kill these bastards first. Luckily, we can just fight one of these at a time. A little sidestep usually does the job for these boys. New goal, find the axe fragment. We already found that. Sorry, I was concentrating a little bit on the combat there, even though it's not too difficult. There is a chest up here. We will be grabbing that for damn sure. What we got in here? We got, oh, we, we've got a full bag. Son of a bitch. I'm going to drop that. Uh, we're going to pick up the build tome laws. We are going to pick up this iron ingots. We won't take... We'll drop the shield. I don't know why we still have that. And we will pick up this iron ingots for sure. Is there anything up here? No, it doesn't look like there's anything up this way. Search area for axe fragment. We're searching, man. We're searching. There looks like there's... Uh, 
you can mine up there as well. Let's just kill one of these real quick. Sometimes it doesn't quite hit through. Let's see if we can... There we go. Oh, four, big hit. 45. What are you doing? That's a nice little thing we have there. Let's pick... Mm, we need to... Gr mm, what's this? Repair smithy. Oh, we can actually repair this smithy. There's wood pallets. More wood pallets. Should we repair this one or we build the smithy? If we repair it, do we unlock it? I'm going to try that because I don't know if we have it or not. What does the smithy do? Inactive, no herb nearby. Can we pick that up? I wish we could pick them up. It doesn't look like we can. We do need to drop off some more. Search this area. Let's rebuild this statue real quick. Get another fragment. Iron Hills armor. Nice. Uh, I'm guessing there's going to be something naughty up here. Uh, scattered remains. There's Durin's axe fragment. So we've got the first axe fragment completed. Uh, take Durin's highway east. The orcs, Durin's axe. First axe fragment. So we have got the first piece of the puzzle. It is becoming dusk. We will head back and drop off before we search this place any further. And as you can see, when we do have the hammer out, so we have the hammer out, you can see the integrity, and you can actually just fix the walls and hit, fill them up completely, which is really nice. We will grab some more cloth scraps because we can grab them at least. We're probably going to need them eventually to craft the armors and stuff. Is there not a stairs upstairs? No, we were doing this head back to the base. We need to drop off the stuff that we can drop off. Can we fix this? I'm not sure. There's the gate over there for our escape. Let's kill this guy real quick. That would do a nice big 45 damage hit. Lovely. That is fixed up there. That's fixed up there. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything behind that up there. It looks like we sh it's like sort of heading us that way. So we'll go back and build over here just, just to do a little bit of a rest. Where is our little house? I do want to find the rest of those statues, to be honest. But I want to unlock that place. Come yeah, on, where are we going? Because I like to find all the treasures in the game. Right. What do we need to do now? We need to go inside and put our stuff away. Let's put all the stuff so we know we've got everything in here. Deposit all the coal. We didn't get that much, to be honest. Uh, let's deposit all wood scraps. Deposit all stone. Okay. We did get some stuff that we can use to actually craft some bookshelves. To unlock them for more building pieces. Let's just see if these bits fit in there. Like we have some of the extra stuff. So we can have that on the bar. We'll, we'll keep that. We Camp Westgate under siege. We're under siege right now. Destroy you first. Where are we under siege? Oh, there we are. There we are we under siege. Orcs. They're all coming. We got a couple. We all do a nice big fat hit on this guy. We are hitting our own door there. They have got a couple of them on us. Let's knock this guy out. Do a big hit. Another big hit. We need to just block it as we're going. The combat is pretty bloody basic. It is, but I like it. Stop breaking my walls. I'll get upset in a moment. Are any of them? Oh, they're both dead. Right. Yeah. Okay. We got everything. No, you won't. We're not under siege anymore. Outlasted the siege. Lovely jubbly. Uh, yeah, now vision is needed along with repairs to the walls. Because we didn't get attacked too much. But, like, see, we're at 100% integrity, 100%. 
We did do some damage to a wall over here, I believe. See? And you can just, like, fix that up. And there we go. We will go and get to the next part of this question. I'll probably end this first episode. Uh, let us... What are we going to be doing now? We're going to be crafting. Let's eat some food first. We'll start cooking some mushroom stew. And then we'll go to sleep. And we'll have rested buff and food ready for us in the morning. Because it is dawn. Is it ready or is it dead? I think it's ready. Mushroom stew. Nice. Okay, we do have that fully rested. We do need a black diamond. I have no idea where we're going to get that from, to be honest. Let's head over and see what the next part of that quest is over there. It is dawn, but it's going to be lighting up here real soon. Let's get our sword and shield out. Gate to Juran's Highway. Which I'm pretty sure was that way, no? I saw it. But I didn't see any of those carvings. Those carvings aren't here. We've got a couple... That looks like a big walk over there, to be honest. Let's get a big hit. There's a big wolf. Okay, lovely jubbly. A little bit of a shield bash. Got a bit of more of a shield bash. I do need to cough in a second. I can feel that shit coming. Excuse me, I, it just comes up and I can't always get away from the microphone in time. We are going to... Oh, there doesn't have... Oh, we don't have enough stone. We have to break something down real quick. There's going to be some stone here. coffin there are piles of stone literally everywhere so we should be able to grab enough to grab at least get this guy built we want to grab everything along the way this is a complete series after all do we have enough right now i don't know we will break this stone down as well and then fix up this damaged statue and hopefully it gives us a full piece so we can make some armor soon iron war axe that'll do that'll do Get our sword out. We're going to be heading... Uh, but I'm sure I saw the Durin's gateway from the other way. So we're just going in a different direction, I think. Let's kill this rat or not. Just going to run away from us. Let's break through the rock. Come on, open up. We will need to come through. Go somewhere I need to be. I think... Oh, we're going to be in the tunnel that was here before. This guy took a couple of hits, actually. That's the room we were in before. Durin's gate was going to be straight down there. Do we want to open up? There might be that we need the improved axe to get through this one. No, it's just that. It should be okay. Just go through here, and then we'll get to the next little part, and then we're going to end the episode when we get to the uh, to the unlocked area. Big area. We'll check that out in a moment. Just want to get through. Oh, we've got another one here. Let's rebuild this statue. I didn't even notice that. I should have seen that before, to be honest. Iron Hill gloves. So we've got the full recipe for the Iron Hill gloves. What's that hiding there? Oh, look, there's a carving. Just hidden behind a bit of rock. Well, at least we know there's going to be bits all over the place now, and it's not just there gate to Durin's highway. Is this going to be a cool room? Is this going to be a nice big opening? Nice big opening. Lovely. What do we have over here? We're still 75 yards away. I will nick your meat, sir. Anything hidden away inside of here? There's some cloth scraps. We've got a crap load of those. We don't really need them right now. Just biltong. Picked up a biltong. What's a biltong? I think that's food. There is an Ori thing up there. I can see it. Ori carving. Glowing all nicely. At least we got to see that one that time. And I believe that is now... I believe that's now four. I think that's the four we needed. 
I think that is. Let's uh, light that up just in case it becomes a little bit nighttime. We will light the one over here as well. There's a statue we need to fix over there. What's in? What do we have in here? There's a, there's a rat that I didn't even see for a second there. Anything nice? Just some stuff we can break down. We're not going to break this stuff down because we don't really need... There's the other carving. No, that's metal fragments. I got happy then. And it wasn't even what I was looking for. That rat's getting right in my face. I think there it is up there. There it is. There's the last one. Let's try and get up there. We'll jump up. Can we jump up? Or our little legs can't reach it. And we have our last fragment so we can unlock that bit of puzzle. What's down here? Sneaky, sneaky hole. You can hide in there and build a little base. Gate to Jurin's Highway is that way. I'm going to go back to the base real quick. There's some Sunions. There's some cooking. We're all, we'll head back to the base, which is this way. Got lost a little bit, so we can unlock that uh, thing next to our base. The uh, puzzle box and get whatever's inside of it. Maybe it's going to have a black uh, crystal in it. We will head up this way, because I think it's actually quicker than going around like we did before. We are running out of our energy real quick. Got a couple of little bits and bobs to kill in there, but I don't think there's a like a system in place yet. Like, well, you know what? Can we pick these up? We will, if we can. Because we can just stick it all on our own pallet. What is that goat Quiet. thing up there? I see prey ahead. Prey? It's a bloody llama walking around in the underground. Uh, we did. That's the coal. We need to go back a little bit further. Let's see if we actually have enough on us right now before... Uh, we only have three. So place carvings. There's three. We have two more and I'm pretty sure we have them in our base. Is our, our base is there. Next to the statue. So we can get that boy unlocked. Come on. It is late morning only still. Day goes quite long when you don't like wake up in the afternoon. I should know that like real life to be honest. Let's close our door. Uh, go into this box. Do we have two carvings in here? We have one carving there. We did. I swear we had a second carving. Why don't we have a second carving? Uh, damage and which can be used to craft a new one at a workbench. Nice. Let's just drop everything off real quick. I don't think we have any deposited for coal. And deposit this here. And all of our stone that we have. I'm sure we had another one. That's just a hero's token. Oh, that's kind of a shame, really. Maybe it's in the other chest? No. We do need to find another one. We do have something else we can craft over here. What's this? What can we craft now? Iron Hills gloves. Let's craft one of those. Why the hell not? And we can put a piece of armor on. It doesn't... Does it show where the armor pieces are? Where is it? Oh, there it is there. We got our nice little metal gloves on. Let's head over. I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of a shame we couldn't find that last piece, to be honest. There's wolves about to attack us. They're on the hunt. We don't want these guys to hit us too much. Just big hit. Big hit. Gone, gone, and gone. To a family of old. I will return. Ah, we still need features. one more. Honor them. It's gonna be somewhere. It's gotta be somewhere. Just gotta look for a glowy, shiny bit hanging from somewhere in the roof. Or the ceiling. I don't know what that llama is, but I'm gonna kill it. I don't know what it's gonna give us. It's gonna give us hide, hide. Item added oak and shield. I just picked up the shields and shit that we don't need. So we are gonna drop that. Got some hide. Larger animal skins. 
This is going to be using that to make some armor. We're going to head over and just finish off this uh, bit of quest here. Because I don't want these episodes to be massively long. We're sitting on an hour right now. So that's about the, that's about the right mark. We sit on about an hour an episode. And I can do some gathering and stuff. Uh, and do the exploration and the questing. When we're actually... When I'm doing the videos. I think that'll be a good way to go around it. Especially for a game like this. Let me know down below if that's something that interests you. But I'm definitely going to be playing through the campaign anyway. Even if nobody watches it. I'm really enjoying this game. So I'm just going to do it anyway. Let's head through. I can't see anything hiding up, shining anywhere. Let's break through. Maybe in this building up here? We could have got that last one. Is there anything shiny? I think that was one of the places we actually uh, built up and tried to find. I can't see anything shiny up there. Let's light these. We don't have enough to light them, I don't think. And let's just go through this bit here. See what that does. Come yeah, on, break through the wall. We're almost at the gates of Durin's Highway. We're almost there. Oh, we found the Eric Erebor. There's glowing runes and shit in here. This may not go as well as I'd hoped. Let's kill these guys before we speak to the. Again, get these guys killed. There's a fire over there, glowing. Let's talk to Eric. These shadow vents are almost as bad as those cursed runes. Evil curses. Evil. Ah. Highway blocked. Ah. Must find another way east. Maybe we can get into the old mines and uh, find a way back onto Durin's highway from there. Ah. Mines are close. Dig through. Find where to dig through. All right. I will find the right spot to dig a shortcut to the mines. I will see you soon, friend. Ah, in the mines. Ah. <laughs> car, car. In the, I don't want to go close to that vent. That vent's definitely going to do some murderous stuff to us. But we have completed the goal. What's this? Can we not take the meat? Why can't we take the meat? Seems like we should. There it is. We got it. We've got the last one. Oh, that's a nice little rattle. If we were playing Ark, that would have been nice. Just stick a door on there. Add fuel. Cold, cold. We are running low on our sleep. We do need sleep soon. What's this up here? What's that blue rune? Is that a bad rune? There's a chest there. What's this? Translate. Wizard's mark. These runes are marking. Evil shadows plague this area. Wizard searches for Thrain. Ah, okay. Translated. Does it not do anything for us? Or is it just a little bit of a thing? We're going to go unlock that box. We do need to unlock that box. I'm not going to try and go through that purple muck because it's probably going to end up murdering us. And we'll do and we'll go into the mines and explore a lot more once we get to that point. We do need to head back. We're going to head back to the base. Can we travel back to our base here? Is there a way? Camp? Show? Edit? No. Damn it. Would have been nice if we could travel back. Or that might have been asking a little bit too much. Let's head back. Unlock our treasure. And finish the episode for the day. Where are we going? I will be dropping these videos at 9am. The return tomorrow at 9am and the soul mask at 6pm. And um, we'll probably do that on a daily basis. Just so you guys know. So they will be coming up as like they'll be coming out daily and we'll try and get through it because we do have arc coming up which I'm, i really 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 want to get through i really love arc aberration no flyers is like the best thing for me i don't play with flyers that often anymore it's just a lot more fun to be able to actually use the land dinos it brings me back to the days before everyone figured out argentavis's were literally god's gifts to humans so let's unlock our little treasure here and see what it's going to give us place carvings we are unlocked. We can open you now. What are you going to give us? Five iron ingots. Some sapphires. Gold coins. What's this? Craft plans. Build law tomes, etc. And we do have trapper hat plus one. Multiple recipes found. But it only showed us the, the one that we got. 
trapper hat plus one. Maybe it's like a D and D thing where it's actually a trapper hat plus one, which would be kind of cool. I do like that. It's, that rat just that rat just supermaned out the way like it was Christmas. I have no idea how the hell he missed that. I've got my speed sword on. That's not a very good thing to do. Right, we're gonna eat up and rest up. And then we are done for this episode. I want to thank you for watching. Remember to like and sub if you haven't already for your survival gaming goodness. This is Return to Moria. Fly safe and avoid local chat scams. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy.